In this video, I'll be showing you how to install the For Purchase applications from the Ubuntu Software Center. So there's quite a few that have appeared now in Ubuntu 12.04. So I can just have a look at that section. So just open up the All Software, click on that little arrow next to it, and go for the For Purchase part. So there's, uh, see there's quite a long list now. There's quite a few free applications in the For Purchase section, but uh, yeah, there's quite a few pay for ones as well. So to install an application from here, you'd need an Ubuntu One account, and they're quite easy to sign up to. Right, let's just go through the motions of installing an application. So there's one that caught my interest. It was a picture viewer. Uh, if I can find it again. Now is it called something like Fragment? It's probably called an image viewer, not picture viewer, isn't it? Yeah, an image viewer. Oh, close enough. Anyway, click on the more info. And it costs two dollars and ninety nine cents. So, yeah, I'll take a shot and take a look at it. It's not too much money that. So it's got a bit about the application. Would normally have a website there, but it doesn't. And you would sometimes find the applications being reviewed, so it give you a better idea of whether it's any good or not. We've got a little screenshot of it. So yeah, okay, we'll give it a go. So you click on buy and need to sign in. So if you don't have an account, you can just click on the new accounts there, easily create one. But I've already got one, so I'm just going to log in. And then it comes up with the order summary. So can I choose the amount? Uh, Euros, US dollars. And that works out slightly cheaper in US dollars. Not much though. Uh, so you can go for, well, PayPal or credit card. I've got some money in my PayPal account, which I haven't spent yet, so let's do that. Now I've clicked the submit order, I've got to log in via PayPal. It's appeared up there. Okay. There you go, it's got, it's got the amount in there to Canonical and what it's going to cost. £1.90 for me. Okay, pay that, it's not too much. Okay, excellent, so it's done it. Continue. Now you put in a new administrator password, that's to install the application. So there you go, it's not too painful. Perhaps a little bit more so than, say, purchasing an application from Google Play Store, but not too bad. So once you've paid for an application, you're not just limited it to using it on just one machine with your current installation. You can actually use it on multiple machines with your account. And if you upgrade Ubuntu, you can take that uh, payment information with you and purchase, or no, sorry, install the paid for application again, but you don't have to purchase it twice round. So you can get that information. If you go up to File and then Reinstall Previous Purchases, it lists what you've already paid for. So you can just click on any of those applications and you get more information, and then you can install it from there. I wonder if I went for the one I'm currently installing, didn't I? So you know, let's try another one about that one. More info. It does say you need to buy it. You don't actually have to buy it though. You can just click on it and it just does it there. So you see I didn't have to mess around with the payment option twice round. So that's a lot easier. So there you go, so it seems to have installed it. If it comes up quickly, I'll take a real quick look at it in this video. Fragment image viewer. Okay, no files. Can we link it to Nautilus? Let's try into my wallpaper folder. Um, abstract. Open with. Let's see, open with fragment image viewer. I was hoping it would be a little bit better than this. So can we scroll along? Yeah. Okay, so that's how to install a full purchase application from the Ubuntu Software Center. So thanks for watching. See you later.